Good morning and happy Molina Monday. Listen, I've missed making these videos for all you beautiful individuals. A few updates. Uh, we opened up this beautiful office in Deerfield Beach um, a little over a month ago. Still have the Palm Beach Gardens office. Now we can cover more ground. And I'm still with Cross Country Mortgage, the voted number one lender in Palm Beach County uh, by the Palm Beach Post two years in a row. All right, so listen, let's get right into it. So before the economy even was in a recession, all right, even back when the Fed was actually telling you that they didn't think we were going to have inflation, I was making videos about the upcoming recession. I was making videos about how we are definitely, definitely going to experience inflation. And the Fed was lying to you by saying inflation was transitory. And I told you exactly how it was going to impact uh, the stock market interest rates you know historically and also the the real estate market historically as well uh, in fact since i made my 2022 forecast i was right uh, about everything i said all right the stock market is down uh, 20 to 25 percent depending on which index you follow uh, interest rates have gone up and i just wanted to go over a few things because i think now more than ever uh, people need me to come back and really educate them on where the media is lacking uh, truth and really not understanding the the data and the real numbers so let me break it down for you let's start off with this very interesting article uh by robin hood so robin hood here says the housing paradox as rates rain on properties parade Americans are losing all around. All right. They said here, homeowners are watching their net worth fall as soaring mortgage rates soften demand. Home prices dropped in July for the first time in 32 months as rates doubled from January. Number one regret, overpaying. Buyers paid a median of 65000 over asking price for their new cribs. All right. So let's break that down. They said, Home prices dropped for the first time in 32 months as rates doubled from January. All right, so what's the what's the beautiful thing about that? The truth about homeowner equity, they're saying that homeowners are sad because their net worth is falling. The truth about homeowner equity is that right now, average equity is actually at an all-time high of about 70% of household equity. All right. So here's something else. U.S. home equity has reached new heights. What happens next? That is right. The Federal Reserve came out with data recently that homeowner equity is at all time highs. So what does that mean? Homeowners are actually not sad. Their equity is not decreasing. In fact, year over year, year over year, there was a $3.6 trillion increase since the second quarter in 2021 in homeowner equity. That's a 27.8% increase year over year. All right. What's also really important to understand is that negative equity, negative equity fell by 18%. All right. 2.3% uh, since the second quarter of 2021, 18% year over year. All right. That is absolutely powerful. That means that the amount of people that have negative equity in their house is also at an all-time low. That is very favorable for real estate values. Uh, let's get into the second point here. They go on to say that there's a Squid Games vibe in the real estate market and that home prices dipped 0.77% in July. They said, hey, look, it sounds negligible, but actually that's the largest monthly decline since 2011. Well, let me show you something. If you bought a home in 2011, all right, if you bought a home in 2011, you would have a 300% increase in your home's value since then. All right. So why is that, ladies and gentlemen? Why is that? As Warren Buffett so often says, best investor of all time, I will tell you how to become rich. Close the doors. Be fearful when others are greedy and greedy when others are fearful, all right? And the media is not telling you that because the media wants to instill fear in you. And here's how the cycle of market emotions works. All right, so first you have optimism, excitement, thrill, euphoria. You know, this is what happened when the government just started that, that money printing machine. Everyone was getting their COVID stimulus checks and the government was saying in this 
stage of denial that we're not going to experience inflation, uh, even though they printed, you know, eight trillion dollars, which you did. You can't avoid inflation when you print, you know, 25 percent of the dollars in circulation. All right. So then when the truth came out and everyone realized, hey, look, we are experiencing inflation, then, you know, everyone entered this state of fear, you know, desperation, panic, uh, capitulation, despondency. Uh, depression, right? These are the emotions that people have been feeling as of late since the truth has came out and they realized that the Fed was lying to you when they said inflation was not going to occur. But I was on your side. I was telling you the truth. All right. So the good news is, guys, if you if you are a true investor, you get excited in times like these because now is the best time to be a buyer. You could actually get offers accepted to the degree that you could not have gotten accepted in the past two and a half years. So you're going to start to see this cycle here is going to continue and it's going to go from depression. It's going to go to hope, to relief, to optimism. And what I really want to reiterate to you all is what I mentioned so strongly in my 2022 forecast is that here's what here's what's going to happen. And here is how the media is going to completely misconstrue this. Uh, the real estate market had been a car going 200 miles an hour, all right, for about a year and a half, ever since COVID happened. Now, real estate is still going to be a, a, a pretty fast car, you know, 40 to 70 miles an hour. Why? Because home price appreciation was about 20% during COVID. Historically, the beautiful part about real estate is in South Florida, appreciation is about 7% a year historically. In the rest of the United States, it's 4%. All right. So the car is decelerating from 20, all right, to four to seven, where it should be. So here is where you should not get confused. Real estate values will not decline more than 10%, but there is going to be a deceleration where you have zero, you have zero here, anything below zero would be negative home prices, all right? And you have the 20 where it was, and it's decelerating to four to seven. It's not going to go below zero, all right? And something else that the media is completely misconstruing is housing inventory. Ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look at this graph right here, all right? The media was spinning out of control and a lot. Honestly, a lot of these, a lot of these big YouTube people talking about the real estate market that really don't know their stuff when it comes to real estate, we're talking about how uh, inventory was skyrocketing, right? So inventory increased, yep, from April about four hundred and nine thousand homes for sale in the U.S. Uh, to about you know eight hundred thousand, you know seven hundred seventy. Guys, let me show you something. Inventory every single year increases between January to September. It always increases every single year, January to September. All right, January to September. January to boom, boom, boom. This is COVID. This is an anomaly. And then guess what? It goes back to normal. All right, January, February to September. It always increases. And then what happens, guys? After September, which is historically the worst month in the stock market, so be fearful right now as well in the stock market, inventory decreases and then it increases all right so what's happening ladies and gentlemen is absolutely normal and you want to focus on the fundamentals all right before covid there were about 1.3 million homes for sale in the us right now there's about 800,000 just under 800,000 we have quite a way to go before real estate normalizes all right so i just wanted to point those two things out there ladies and gentlemen remember the wise words of warren buffett all right be fearful when others are greedy and greedy when others are fearful. Now, does that really mean the, the, the you know, common perception of greed? No, it means go in and invest when others are fearful. All right. And be worried about the market when others are greedy. All right. And that's exactly what I've been saying, guys, for almost three years now to you on YouTube. All right. Is listen, the Fed was lying to you when they started printing the money. And they said inflation was not going to happen. I told you it was going to happen. I told you the stock market was going to go down. I told you real estate values were going to normalize. And that's healthy. You should actually like that. If you're a buyer, you should get excited. Ladies and gentlemen, Molina Monday is back. We've had a lot of great updates that uh, our team has been up to over the past quarter. Uh, but listen, I'll say it again. You guys need these videos now more than ever. And I'm going to keep them coming. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, make it a great day.
kick ass this week and i'll talk to you soon molina out